Hello there, my name is Peter Thompson and in this DVD I'm going to show you how to hold a golf club correctly just with your left hand. Your left hand is very important, so is the right hand, but this DVD will be purely on the left hand grip or hold. Grip and hold is the same thing really. I call it a grip because you need to hold onto the club quite tightly and gripping to me says that better than the word hold. To assist me in showing you how to hold the club with your left hand, I use this little club that I made about 35 years ago. It's 12 inches long, it's got a wooden head, and I took the loft away so the loft angle is now zero, and I then put a little white pole into the face so you can then see where the face is all of the time because the loft angle can distort the appearance of the face. If I hold the golf club correctly in my left hand then the stick is now pointing at the camera and if I just turn back and turn through then the stick is still pointing at the camera with my left hand on the golf club correctly. So we turn back, turn through and the face is still square or straight. Square means straight. If for whatever reason my left hand turns too far around to my right, which would be this way, so that's fairly normal. Left hand to the right, the face now automatically will close because my left hand will change position. Hands to the right or left hand to the right then the face will close and the ball will go to your left. If for whatever reason your hands are too far round to your left, the face will now open because your hand is in the right place and the club face isn't and the ball will then go to the right. So, left hand to my left, the face will open and the ball will go to the right. Left hand grip, left thumb more or less on the centre, face square, turn round, face is still square. Left hand too far round to your right for whatever reason, your left hand will turn and the face will turn and the ball will now go to your left. Left hand too far to your left, then your left hand will turn back to where it should do, the face will open and the ball will go to the right. If the face opens, you increase the loft, so the ball will go high into the right. If you close the face, you will decrease the loft and the ball will go low to the left. Face square, the loft angle will be correct. So the left hand is important to keep the face square and it's very important for another reason as well. Many people use a test by checking the knuckles of the left hand if you can see two or three then that's considered to be normal well my grip is now correct and I can see two two and a half knuckles if however I move my head round to the right I can see no knuckles at all if my head goes round to my left I can now see but my hand didn't move my hands in the same place so I never use the two, two and a half, three knuckle test. It isn't valid. Two knuckles, two and a half knuckles, no knuckles, four knuckles. The test I use, I call the one finger test. And the one finger test is this. I'll move down towards the camera and so you can see exactly what it is. This is my normal left hand grip. And if I take away my left thumb off the club altogether and then take away the back three fingers then the golf club 
is now held with one finger, the first finger, and it's locked under this fleshy pad. So just one finger will support the club quite easily. That is important for this reason. In the swing, you want the club head to travel as fast as possible and if the club head is moving down and away from you, which is normal, that's what needs to happen, you need to hold the club in such a way that when it starts to move very quickly, it won't move out of your hand. If your grip is wrong, the speed of the club head will loosen your grip and the club will come out of your hand slightly and you'll more than likely wear a hole in your glove. You probably have seen your gloves wearing away in this part of the glove and that is because the manufacturers know that most people don't hold the club correctly and as the club starts to move like this so there's a poor grip and if the club is moving around in the hand there then what you'll see is the club now is out of position the club was moving around in this part of your hand and in this part of your hand if you have a glove on it will simply wear the glove away which is why they put a double skin on the glove to help solve the problem with a good grip you should hardly ever wear a hole in your glove at all so a good grip will keep the club in your hand left hand all the way through all the way back all the way through with no movement whatsoever another reason it is important to hold the club with your left hand correctly is this with a good grip I can hinge my wrists or my wrist and my left hand about 90 degrees there's no injury but on average it will be about 90 degrees. My wrists hinge about 90 degrees. Some people a lot more, some people a lot less. It doesn't really matter. Your wrist hinge is your wrist hinge. So a good grip, a good hinge. If your hands are too far around to your right, it now becomes physically impossible to hinge your wrist. It's not difficult, it's physically impossible. This simply won't hinge. If your hands move round to your left, same problem, your wrists will not hinge. Move your hands back into a good position with your left thumb more or less down the centre, then your wrist, your bones, your sinews will react correctly and you can then get a good wrist hinge. You may be wondering why many people bend their left arm, well it's nearly always because the left hand is incorrect so the wrist can't hinge in the backswing but the left arm can. Good hinge, left arm can stay straight, poor grip, poor hinge and then the left arm is going to bend. So your left hand grip will allow your left arm to remain straight in the backswing it will allow you to keep the club face nice and square. It will also allow you to hold on to the club with your left hand. So when it starts to come down, it simply won't twist. And all that can be accomplished by just practicing the one finger test. I'll show you that again. It's very, very, very important. This is the one finger test. The left thumb comes off the golf club and the back three fingers come off the golf club and the golf club is then locked into this pad. I often get my pupils to try and pull the club out of my hand so I hold it with the one finger test and they put it as hard as they can and the club won't move because the harder they put it the club simply locks into this pad. They will pull me over they won't pull the club out of my hand when the club head travels up to 80, 90, 100 miles an hour plus you need to hold on to it so it can't move anywhere if it moves just one degree open or closed 
one degree and the ball goes 200 yards you're 10 feet offline another reason why you need to make sure your only contact with the club is with both of your hands this is about your left hand only and your left hand is equally as important as your right hand so good grip good hinge good grip face remains square good grip the club won't move in your hand and with a good grip you'll probably keep your left arm very straight there's four very good reasons why you should practice this one finger test all of the time I've done that now for 45 years to me it is very very important thank you for listening